Hi everyone, welcome back to see the stories with our uh, team here, Purple 1, Purple 2, and Purple 3. <laughs> yes. Lilac 1, Lilac yeah. 2, and yeah. Lavender, I, Lavender I, I'm 1. I'm a Lavender 1, <laughs> yes, that's right. So, um, let me ask you a question. We'd like to throw a question on this segment. So, have you heard of some cases of strokes that happen to people at young age? Well, I did because uh, my sister-in-law is a neurologist mm -hmm. and uh, she had patients not just for uh, in elderly, but also people like in their 30s and in their mm -hmm. 20s and uh, the causes are various. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Additionally, for myself, like I heard more news, not just on the news, but from my surroundings. I, yeah. Um, yeah, the story of the stroke uh, attack that happened to a youngster around me. I mean, it's getting uh, more often. Yes, it's getting more often. People at age of 20, maybe under 30, got the stroke, right? Yeah, right. Uh, we need to know the, the reason behind all this. Um, why strokes now have been found in younger uh, yeah. generations? I mean, not older like before. Yeah, yeah that's right, Alia. Considered as a disease of the elderly, the incidence and sufferers of stroke are now increasingly shifting towards the productive age and can even occur in adolescents or children. Why does this happen? Here's a brief explanation. So a stroke occurs when the supply of blood to the brain is interrupted or reduced, leaving brain tissue without oxygen and nutrients. Brain cells can die within minutes. A stroke is a medical emergency that requires immediate and proper treatment. It seems impossible for most people at a young age to have a stroke. In reality, there is no such thing as being too young to have a stroke. Although the risk of stroke increases with age, it is possible to have a stroke at a young age. In fact, um, Haley Bibier, uh, Bieber. Bieber, I mean, yeah, she had a um, very mild stroke. Oh, in, in yes. what part? Right. I think, yeah, we, we know from the story, like from Hollywood stories, yeah, yes. it, it turns that like, Haley Bieber. Bieber. Yeah, yeah, I just realized that one of the mm. latest story that comes around us, that mm. the story of a stroke uh, attack could happen uh, at a young, young age. Yeah? That's right. So uh, let's talk more on preventing stroke at a young age and invite yes. uh, our guest for today, Lipo Village Silom Hospital Neurologist, Dr. Angeleria Sutanto. What a beautiful name. Angeleria, yes. yes. I've never heard of this name before. Hi, doctor. How are you? And welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. I'm great. How are you guys? We we're great right here. here. Yeah. We're great too. Thank you. Yeah, we were just very worried, worried because nowadays stroke hits the, you know, the younger generation. So what are the main causes of stroke and why are cases increasing among young adults lately? Yeah, so the sign of stroke is happen due to the disrupted brain flow uh, or the blood flow in the brain. Mm. So we have uh, one is the ischemic stroke in which there is some kind of obstruction in the brain blood flow. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the hemorrhagic stroke due to the rupture of the blood vessel in the brain. Both of the types of stroke uh, share some kind of risk factor that will increase your chance of getting stroke, mm -hmm. such as uh, the modifiable risk factor like hypertension, mm -hmm. uh, diabetes, and then high lipid profile in your blood, smoking, alcohol consumption, obesity, and immobility. immobility. I think mm -hmm. young people, young adults is getting higher and in higher chance of getting stroke mm -hmm. due to our unhealthy lifestyle unhealthy lifestyle. because most of the risk factor yeah. yes most of the risk factor is strongly related to the unhealthy lifestyle i see right. and uh, how often doc does stroke affect young people globally is it about 10 to 20 percent from all the mm -hmm. incidence of stroke Oh, so this is not only uh, in the in the you know couple of years right now. Is it happening? You know, has been happening for a long time. Like ten to twenty percent of young adults got stroke. On my personal observations, maybe the increasing of the incidence is like five late five years. I think. Mm. Oh, I see. Because we get to be more stressful. Mm -hmm. We are hustling a lot and. 
I don't know. We, we ate need to prevent it, Alia. Exactly. We're, we're still young as well, right? But yes. uh, let's yes. talk about the symptoms first, yeah? yeah? So, doctor, what are the warning signs or symptoms of stroke that oh, yes. we important. all need to know? Yes. We need to yes. know. Yeah, so basically stroke could attack your brain, mm -hmm. your eye, and also your spinal cord or the oh. nerve in our back. Oh. The sign we use the popular mnemonics to help us to remember, mm -hmm. which is fast, fast in as in you are running fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. F means facial drop or asymmetrical in your facial muscle. Ah, right. yes. So you could try to smile, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and then you could see the asymmetrical pattern in your right. face, mainly in your mouth. Mm -hmm. right. And then the A is for the arm and leg weakness. Mm -hmm. If you and have one side weakness. Uh -huh. Yes, it is a strongly, could be strongly related due to the stroke. Right. And then S. S is for slurred speech or oh, incoherent slurred. speech. Oh. Means you could not articulate it properly yeah. or maybe you could not generate or comprehend any language properly. Right. Which is everything is happening in sudden onset. Mm -hmm. Maybe within seconds. I see. And then the last letter is T. T means time is brain. Mm -hmm. Mean you have to save your nerve cell as soon as possible by getting the right check and the proper treatment as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so are the type mm -hmm. of strokes among younger patients different from older patients? Can you elaborate, elaborate more on that? We could say yes. Because generally, 80 to 85 percent type of stroke is ischemic stroke. Mm -hmm. But in young adults, the type is mainly the higher frequency is in hemorrhagic stroke. Hemorrhagic stroke. I see. So there's the difference. Yes. And, uh, can strokes be cured, especially if it happens uh, on young people? Yep. Can it be cured completely? Mm -hmm. We could say yes and no, yeah. because the main key is the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get early diagnosis, early proper treatment, mm. the recovery rate will increasing dramatically. Mm -hmm. We have um, the treatment for ischemic stroke specifically in the golden period, four and a half hours from the onset. Uh, yeah. And we have the intervein a therapy to make sure that we could break down the obstruction in the blood vessel. Mm -hmm. But the time window is very limited, only four and a half hours. Four and a half so hours. So it is very, very important to make sure you are diagnosed early mm -hmm. in the right settings, in the right hospital. Yeah. So if you want to prevent that, I mean, you mentioned hypertension. So what do we have to do? I mean, some people did not even, did not even realize that they have hypertension. Yes, that's a good, very good point. Because the first one is you have to know yourself. Know yourself in case of the risk factor. Mm -hmm. The first one is to realize about the older age and then being male, mm -hmm. have a family history of stroke, mm -hmm. and then please check regularly your blood pressure, mm -hmm. your sugar, blood sugar level, mm -hmm. and then your lipid profile. Mm -hmm. And also to check, do you have any history of smoking, any oh. excessive alcohol consumption, yeah, yeah, yeah. and also your body mass index. Ah, so it means if, if you are an alcoholic drinker, like bad alcoholic drinker, drinker in mm -hmm. the past, but you have already stopped drinking right now, does it, ha does it mean that you have more potential of getting stroke? Uh, I could say more potential, of course, but it's never late. It's better late than never, I think. Yeah. yeah. So it's always, always beneficial to stop it as soon as possible mm -hmm. in case of smoking and alcohol consumption, the yeah. excessive one. I see. Right. And um, I heard that there are uh, several ways to prevent strokes, such as doing an exercise. Is that true, Doc? And what kind of exercise? Yes, yes it's what true. Kind of exercise? Yes, the proper exercise will save your life, I could say. Uh, three to four times a week mm -hmm. for mild to moderate exercise mm -hmm. is it will decrease your chance of stroke as much as like 30 to 60 percent 
30 to 60 so days. move now move your body now and yeah. choose what's best for you mm -hmm. if you like to walk you can do it yeah. if you like to do swimming you can do it so just make sure that you consult with professional to make sure it is the best for you it is the best type exercise for you all right right so one more question before we take a break mm -hmm. doctor you've uh, introduced to us the abbreviation of fast uh, one of his uh, t is time you've mentioned as well the the golden time of half hour so can you uh, could you please elaborate more on it i mean because the stroke attack can, could happen a everywhere yeah what should uh, the people surrounding what happened uh, with should we do yeah. when we got in that situation with the within the related to the golden hour yeah it was a cpr type of thing Yes, because four and a half hours is, we could say, it's very short time. Mm. Because we have to reach the hospital, we have to do the yeah. examination, yeah. we have to inject the treatment. Mm. So if we suspect any sign of stroke, just go to the hospital directly. Mm. Make sure the hospital has the facility of brain imaging, mm. like CT scan or MRI. Right. Mm. Mm have a neurologist and have the access to the what we call thrombolytic therapy mm -hmm. so i think it is uh, will be a good preparation if we know we are educate uh, we are educated about which hospital is a uh, stroke ready yeah near us That's near right. our uh, near our home near our working area right. yep. so if we have something suspected as stroke we could go directly to the right place. Yeah, it, but th is there anything that you can do at home or uh, on your own, um, you know, help? Like, if like, like you know, first, first help. Yeah. First help. First, yeah. first. What aid. what can you do? So actually, uh, what is nice to do is to make sure that your ABC is safe. ABC means A is the airway. Mm -hmm. uh, and then B is the breathing, breathing. and C is the circulation or your blood pressure. Right. Is there any instability in ABC? Uh -huh. yeah, we should do the proper treatment right away, uh -huh. pre-hospital. Yeah. But if the ABC is stable, go to the hospital as soon as possible is the right and solid answer. Right. C. Okay. Interesting. Wow. We have wow. fast. We have ABC. Yeah. Uh, we need to remember that. Right. We need to remember that. Right. So the patient that really help us to remember yeah. to remember about the, the, the knowledge of uh, stroke. Yeah. Yes. So we'll continue our talk with Dr. Anjali Ria after the break. Don't go anywhere. Just please stay tuned with us. Mm -hmm.